Here we have a Pokemon master and Pokemon artist, Rose. How are you doing, Rose? Good, thank you. I'm doing really well today. Very good. So, how are you finding um, EB... EB Games Expo? It's been really good so far, actually. Um, not too many... It, it doesn't feel too crowded, but a lot of people have come by my table, so I'm happy about that, yeah. And I've had some good conversations with people as well. Um, so, your store today is about uh, Pokemon art and a few other things as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, what got you into drawing Pokemon? Well, um, it's funny actually. I didn't really grow up with Pokemon games the same way a lot of people um, of my generation did. I actually started playing in Gen 5, which is uh, quite recent. So, Pokemon Black was my first uh, Pokemon game. And I started drawing them before I had even played Pokemon. But I chose Pokemon because um, I really like animals. I love drawing animals. And I I hadn't, I hadn't really drawn much in a while and I needed some uh, motivation to start drawing again. And I wanted to draw animals. I felt that um, Pokemon are really just interesting interpretations of animals. And there's a lot of uh, room for, I think, stylistic interpretation, uh, which really appealed to me. So I started, um, coming out with my own interpretations, drawn interpretations, and put them online, and people liked them a lot, so um, that's how I got into that. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was just a blog for a while called Drawings of Pokemon, and then uh, uh, after a while I made them into prints, and um, yeah, that's that's really how it got started. Fantastic. And so you went to a few other things, genres that we, we can see here as well, mm -hmm. of, of games and TV shows. Uh, was that just an, another step, or...? Um, they've always been part of the picture, actually. Like, because I didn't uh, at the beginning of the project, I didn't want to limit myself to just one franchise. And so, because you know, there's all kinds of things that I like. And so, uh, but I also wanted to draw mostly Pokemon. So uh, the blog I originally had, which is just on Tumblr, um, the name I came up with it, uh, the, the name I came up with was initially drawings of Pokemon and sometimes also drawings of other things. That was the name of the blog. So that, that's been there from the start. And so um, the first thing I drew that wasn't a Pokemon was, I think, Mordecai from regular show. So there's, there's Pokemon and there's also characters from other games, cartoons and uh, dank memes, stuff like that. Dank memes, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> wow. uh, so speak on your own sort of personal favorites that you have. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite Pokemon? I do. Um, my favorite Pokemon is Sudowoodo. I have not drawn it yet. Um, no one has ever asked for Sudowoodo. <laughs> but I, I like it because it's got, uh, it's very quirky and it's very shy and it has a funny face and it sort of just looks like an, an anxious sausage and this appeals to me for some reason. <laughs> I don't have to check it out I'm not <laughs> Uh, I first started watching Pokemon when it first came out on, I think, the animes and cheese TV and stuff. So, oh, yeah. uh, my favorite is Blastoise. So I'll definitely uh, find yes. one. I'll definitely find one here. I've drawn Blastoise. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely have to grab that later on. So, um, do you have any any ideas for the future? Any, uh, do, would you move to other franchises at all? Yeah, definitely. I'm really liking Overwatch at the moment because they're well. There's less room for interpretation because I think Overwatch designs are much more um, resolved. I want to say. Um, the designs themselves are really, I think, really interesting, really well thought out, um, really diverse. The game's getting a lot of praise for that. And um, it's just like all around a, a, a sort of popular and fun game that everyone could get in on. And I haven't really played it myself, but I've noticed there are a lot of people who are big fans of Overwatch who don't even play it. And that's, uh, that's really interesting. Um, and I think it's, it's doing a lot of new interesting things. Like it's, it's brought, um, I guess, the cinematography of uh, video games to a, a new level, I feel and it's competitive, and it's also casual, and I think it's just sort of hitting all the right notes. So anyway, that's, that's my opinion of Overwatch, a game I haven't played. Um, but that's the reason I'd, I'd like to start drawing more characters. I just have two at the moment, but I'd like to try and draw the whole cast. Um, and I guess another thing worth mentioning is that like Pokemon is a very sort of uh, collectible series. People like to collect Pokemon, they like to collect Pokemon merchandise, stuff like that. And I really like that about it because I think it's sort of instinctive for people to want to uh, complete sets of things. We just kind of like doing it. And, um, you know, if I could complete every Overwatch character, like that's going to be a really big task. But I think um, if I can draw every single one of those, that'd be really fun too. So, yeah. So, yeah, there'll be another feather in your artistry, uh, artistry <laughs> cap that you got there. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, Rose, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, and uh, so. yeah, I'll definitely be grabbing a Blastoise one later on. No worries. Thanks.